Hey, what's up? This is Brian Pfeiffer with BachelorVegas.com. I'm standing here today in front of the uh, Excalibur Hotel. I'm actually at the roundabout here. If you guys see my background here, you're going to see the Luxor. You can see the pyramid going off here. It is uh, kind of a late Sunday night here. But this roundabout here is where um, our limo services drop you guys off for Thunder Down Under, okay? If you guys don't know what Thunder Down Under is, it's, uh, it's a mail review in Las Vegas. It's been going since uh, 1994, I believe. Started out at the Stardust Hotel, and now it's at the uh, Excalibur Hotel here in Las Vegas. And uh, it's the bond is kind of a permanent home and whatnot. So it's been going um, strong, and it's actually one of the better mail review shows in town. It kind of competes with like your Chippendales and your Magic Mike. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit next level from your, you know, Black Magic or your Aussie Heat or the uh, Kings of Hustler, which is the, the male strip club right over here um, at the Hustler Club uh, on the rooftop. So um, it's definitely a good show. I checked it out tonight for the first time. I've been selling tickets to this show for probably close to eight years, and I've never actually been here. So um, I wanted to come check it out and see what it was like. I brought my girlfriend. It was her birthday a couple weeks ago. So um, in the same night, I went and checked out Chippendales, and I checked out uh, Thunder Down Under. And I've already been to Magic Mike's, and I've been to all three of the kind of the major players out here when it comes to the mail reviews. And uh, honestly, they're they're all they're all really good okay <laughs> I was I was like pretty hyped when I left Chippendales and I'm like oh it's gonna be tough to beat that show you know it's been a minute since I've been to Magic Mike now Magic Mike was a lot more athletic guys and whatnot they were doing like a lot of stunts and tricks and stuff um, but Chippendales I just really felt like the warmth in that show really moved well they had Vinny from the uh, Jersey Shore there um, he comes in different stints he'll be here for like a month or two of course the ticket prices are a little higher when he's here but uh, then the Thunder show I'm thinking like ah this isn't gonna be as good and it, it was really good I mean I was actually impressed I I really enjoyed it. Uh, they did a nice job. They got tables with like, um, you know, uh, where the guys can run down and be interactive with the crowd. And then they got kind of like a little center stage area and they got some VIP seating. So the guys are very interactive. They're, you know, mingling with the crowd throughout the night and, uh, you know, hyping up the girls. And uh, they kind of, they pick one guy and he kind of does his like set, sort of his skit. And then he kind of has his little solo apart and then the next guy. And they go through the whole, um, you know, the realm of guys. Uh, throughout the night and they do a good job i mean you know you got you got the cowboys you got the you know the break dancers you got the different different themes and whatnot they do but uh you know they're all really good shows it's honestly uh it's funny i saw some girls that were at chippendales earlier for the eight o'clock show the same one we were at and then they came here to watch the thunder at the 11 o'clock show so you know it, it's fun okay if you're gonna if you only got budget for one i mean literally throw up a coin in the air you know if it lands on you know heads or tails pick pick one of the you know two of your top ones and, and you're gonna have a good time they do a good job at these shows they've they've all been around for several years now and uh they know how to you know put on a pretty good production the guys can really dance they're good looking dudes they got i saw one of the dudes at my gym he was here uh, in the show and he's like yeah man i always see you late night at the gym and i'm like yeah i do i recognize the guy I'm like kind of funny he came up and slapped my hand and said hello so it was uh, pretty interesting uh but you know overall the production's solid here nice sound system the, the um, thunder um, dome or i think it's called or whatever they call it it's pretty cool they have a nice uh little lounge where they you can party before have drinks have a dj going and then you can party after it's really loud i was going to film the video in there but it's so loud the music going from that lounge uh, i can't really uh can't really film it. it'd be all ears music so uh, but the actual um, setup is really nice i got these like long tables again where they you can run up and down the tables of guys um, and it's a little bit more like um I feel like more like picnic kind of seating. It's not picnic tables, but picnic kind of seating than Chippendales, which is more like, you know, stadium style seating, if you will. And um, same with Magic Mike, it's more like stadium style. So it's a little bit more interactive. I kind of liked it. It was different. Um, what um, I did notice that the bar waitresses, they don't come and give you drinks here at Thunder. They don't really have any waitresses running around. So you got to walk up and go to the bar. So if you want to come a little bit early and get your drinks, that's what I would recommend. Where at Chippendales, they actually had a waitress that would come and bring you drinks and stuff. So, you know, just little differences in each show. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. They they both had like a cowboy skit. And they played the same like main song. Um, you know, <laughs> ride a horse or you know, save a horse, ride a cowboy. That was the the, the, the theme song for their cowboy acts because obviously that's a very popular song. So it was cool. But um, overall, you know, the seating is it's cool. The Thunder Zone seats are in the front, and then there's um, some VIP seats and VIP tables kind of behind them, and then there's like some preferred seats back on the uh, you know one one corner area. Now the preferred seats are not really all that great. Um, there's not really a lot of interaction back there. But if you're on a budget. If you want to see a pretty good show, your shirt seats will do. But uh, we had some Thunder Zone seats, so we were in the action, so it's pretty lit. Um, but uh, if you like this video and you like this review of the uh, Thunder Down Under, uh, make sure you uh, 
like this channel and make sure you subscribe and I do appreciate that. Um, we do have a lot of packages if you want to click on the link below. Um, we do offer limos, dinners, um, you know, VIP entry to the nightclubs, uh, bottle service, just about everything in Vegas. We can bundle up and make your night amazing if you're coming out here for a bachelorette and uh, you don't want to do any of the planning, you just want to have a nice night. Um, we have some exclusive deals with some of the limo companies out here so we're able to like take you from point A to point B for a lot less than if you were trying to do it on your own. So that's kind of one of our competitive advantages. Obviously we get the tickets at a little bit uh, better rate so we can kind of pass that savings along to you guys in terms of buying the package and whatnot. So make sure you hit us up. Um, my cell phone's above 773-459-8133 if you have any questions um, or just click on the link below and fill out a form or uh, go ahead and just buy on our packages online and uh, we'll get these sorted with an amazing night here for uh, Thunder Down Under. Looking forward to working with you out here in Las Vegas. I'm Brian Pfeiffer. We'll talk soon. Bye.